in this video I will uh, refresh you and uh, point out some of the issues about reading and writing numbers in English particularly large numbers let's start from uh, the easy ones let's start with a one digit number for example 8 in this uh, case uh, the number 8 is just read as is it's pronounced as is and uh, that's the only thing that gets written down on the sheet of paper uh, two digit numbers are following the same principle in the number 71 uh, both digits are read together the word 70 is indicating the place value of the 7 that it's a multiple of 10 70 1 and uh, there is no additional words uh, to uh, that gets uh, read and uh, doesn't get written down when we have hundreds and the three digit number for example in the number 352 this is how the number is read first you read the digit 3 and you say the word 100 300 and just before the tens uh, depending on the, on your dialect most people have an additional word the word and a and d so this number uh, of 352 is read 352 so we have a couple of extra words in it that don't get written down when you hear the words 457 you don't write uh, maybe, maybe this one it's more visible you don't write down 457 that's not what you write down what you write down is four and the word hundred doesn't get written down on the paper it's only indicating the place value of the four four hundred and the word and doesn't get written down as plus either 457 just gets written up like so the same principle applies to thousands when we have uh, say uh, that number it gets read with a couple of extra words you read one the first digit and then you say the word thousand one thousand then you read the next number three and then you say the uh, word hundred and at this point oopsie you say the word end as well just before the tens and the, uh, this four digit number consequently gets read as one thousand three hundred and 86 with extra words that don't get written uh, down on the paper let me just zoom in a little closer there we go that's a better view uh, so on a paper you don't write this number down as 1386 this number is incorrect this number is not 1386 this is how you write 1386 okay next one up you know four digit number say uh, that one now in uh, in most English speaking countries the uh, numbers are either grouped in multiples of three and a little bit of space is uh, kept here or sometimes the number is written up same number with a comma just to uh, just to help read the number and this is how it is read this one is 27,000 so you have an extra word here 27,000 then you read the next digit five and after that you read a number you say a number hundred 
indicating its place value. 27,500. And just here, before the tens, you have an additional word A and D, and 43. So you read this as 27,547. That's how to write down this number. And when you hear another five digit number, say uh, 51,986, you don't write down 51,986. That's incorrect. You write down 51,986. Oh, seven. Sorry, my bad. Okay. That's how the numbers are written down. Now I'm gonna jump ahead a little bit to six figure numbers. There, I wrote this one with a little separating comma. And uh, we have a couple of extra words in it again. Following the same principle, the numbers are read in groups of three and uh, calling out their place values uh, after every triplet. So this is one triplet. Triplet. So this is how we read this number. 100. 100. And uh, we have there uh, two more digits. So this one is in the tens place value. So in most English speaking uh, dialects, you have the word and so 123 and after that you call the place value of all this and you say the word thousand so you read 123,000 and then you continue with the rest of the word let's uh, rest of the number uh, you read the digit 4 and you state its place value 400 and then the tens is the next place value. So just before the tens, you have the word and 456. So this number reads as 123,456. 123,426. Or uh, you can read it without the words and just 123,456. Next up, seven digit numbers. Say right. somewhere here. There. In this number, we've got two triplets here. And another one here that's also going to be part of a triplet, but uh, it's the uh, right or rightmost digit in uh, in the next triplet there. So first you read the digit itself, seven. Then you state its place value and you see the word million. Because that seven is in the millions place. Seven million. Next one is read as uh, as if it was just a three digit number and you read 800 812 7 million 812 and then you state its place value and you say the word thousand that's important and then the last triplet you read the first digit in it, 5, and you state its place value, 500, followed by the word AND. So 7,812,593. 7,812,593. That's how you read that number. And uh, if you wanted to write down every single number that you hear, it would be extremely long and is also incorrect. It would look like seven million eight hundred and twelve thousand five hundred and ninety-three. 
eight hundred and twelve uh, thousand five hundred and ninety three but uh, like I said this one is incorrect don't do this that's not how we read numbers so again this is seven million eight hundred and twelve thousand five hundred and ninety three and let's just flip the page over and uh, one more number after a seven digit number let's go with a nine digit number for uh, picking up the pace a little bit and then we'll finish with a 12 digit number a nine digit number could look like like that you read this number in English as in three triplets like so those are the three triplets and I separated them this time not with commas but with slight gaps so each triplet is uh, read as if they were standalone but after the triplet you state the place value of it so you read 100 and 123 and these are millions so you say the word million 123 million 400 and 400 and 456 thousand 789 700 and 89 that's how you read this number 123 million four hundred and fifty six thousand seven hundred and eighty nine and let's look at a 12 digit number to finish it off say there we go now we have 12 digits each in triplets like so, like so. and uh, we follow the same pattern the triplets are red as if they were standalone in and of themselves and then you state its place value so 587 is the first one 500 the hundred is an extra word so is the word and 587 and then you state its place value and in English this one is called a billion 587 billion 500 and 512 million 700 and 63,000 750 63,118 so again 587 billion 512 million 763,108 that's how you read this 12 digit number